McCoy here with Firehouse Education and this week's Ask Anissa video column. And this week, I just want to start off with doing a little check-in. And I just want to say, how, how are y'all doing? I know this has been such a crazy last, I don't know, 14 months, maybe 12 months. Seems like 47 months, I'm sure, to most of us. But anyway, I just wanted y'all to know that I miss seeing your faces at events. I just wanted to check in and just kind of see how everybody was doing because I know that uh, things are definitely different and uh, things can uh, be a little tough for some. So anyway, on that note, I wanna thank you all so much for sending me Ask Anissa questions. Um, I literally have an inbox full of questions. So I've been emailing a lot of you back right away just so I can kind of get you help immediately and or calling you. Um, but I am definitely notifying you and sending you an email link, uh, trying to remember to do that uh, when I answer it on Ask Anissa. So anyway, this is a question we're gonna get right into here for this week that came in from Joseph. And Joseph actually commented on Firehouse Education's website. Let me put my glasses on so I can read this. Joseph says, having an issue with a State Farm adjuster, he claims the exact to make contents pack out and evaluation, including moving labor into storage, return from storage, and resetting unpacking. Okay, so I'm I'm what I'm deciphering of that as a question is, is this indeed correct? So what this adjuster is talking about is, I believe that when you charge at the pack out stage to evaluate, pack up the contents and move them to storage, that that then includes packing them back and resetting. Well, that is not the case at all. Now, is the contents evaluation per hour charge if you're going to use that? for pack out as well as pack in, yes. Um, it's the same labor rate, if you will, I mean, uh, line item, if you will, in Xactimate, but you charge for each. You don't just charge, let's say it's 200 hours to pack out a house. That doesn't mean in that 200 hours that you get to pack it back and reset it. No, you may use the same labor or line item charge in Xactimate, but you're gonna add the hours that it takes you to go back. Now, just because it took you 200 hours to pack the house out, doesn't mean it's gonna take you exactly that same to pack it back. Number one, you could have less boxes to bring back in, so the charge could be less. And um, you know, because of destroyed items, um, it could actually be more because resetting is a little more delicate sometimes than just taking something down and packing it or out of a cabinet and packing it. So the charge will vary. It's not gonna be 200 hours pack out, 200 hours pack in, okay? Um, the other thing I wanna stress here is that this is just for the physical labor of packing out and packing in, okay? So don't forget, Joseph, that you need to charge for all of your materials and supplies. You need to charge for the truck that you're using to haul these items back and forth. You need to charge for the storage. If you're the one that's storing them, whether it's in your warehouse or say in a, in a you know, pod or a storage facility, you need to charge for that. So you, you gotta kind of remember that too. I don't want you to think that you're only getting labor uh, because if you're charging T&M, time and materials, then you get your time plus you get your materials. And the other thing, Joseph, that I wanna say is I'm not sure exactly where you're located, but not every location across our country has the same labor burden, okay? So you may need to adjust what exactly it gives you in your area, in your market for your labor burden, okay? So hopefully you're very versed in Xactimate and you know how to do that, all right? Um, that's the way you make sure that you do not leave money on the table, okay? All right, well, Joseph, I hope that helped. I hope that answered your question. Um, if you need some help with that adjuster, do not hesitate to reach out to me and I will happily get on the phone with you and or with the adjuster. My email is anisa at firehouseeducation.com. And uh, yeah, I'll help you out if I need to in another way. All right, all right. Well, hopefully you found that valuable. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up if you're on my YouTube channel and like the video, it does help. 
uh, my ratings on there. Be sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and that you are a super cool kid and you are on rnrmagonline.com's e-newsletter so that you get Ask Anissa this cool video and lots of others every Friday in your email inbox. All right, on that note, send me your questions at Nisa at FirehouseEducation.com, and I will see you on the next week's Ask Anissa video column.